Hello everyone. I just wanted to give you a couple quick pictures or images to kind of show what linear collisions are going to look like. These are two of the most common type of linear collisions. We're going to look at the first example of basically two objects that collide either head on or rear end or whatever in a, line, in a straight line but they're going to collide and bounce off each other. The second case is going to look at where two objects collide and stick like in a, a lot of intersection collisions they will collide and then basically stay stuck together and move off as one. The key when you're looking at the first example here is They'll bounce off and then they generally move in different directions after. So we're going to have to account for that when we start to think of the momentum and the velocities. Remember, velocities in one direction will be positive. The opposite direction will be negative. In the second case, a hit and stick, what you're going to be concerned about with a hit and stick type of collision is that yes initially one of them will have a lot of velocity the other one will have less velocity or no velocity but after they hit it is the combined mass that moves off at a common velocity afterwards so when you notice the truck hits the car they move off at the same speed after as a combined mass watch for that in the hit and stick type collisions you'll always be looking for the combined mass the other one is the explosions. I'll show that one because it tends to be more two-dimensional rather than along a straight line. Um, but explosions can also look like this too, where the object has a combined mass at the beginning and then blows up into its separate pieces in opposite directions. So we have a hit and stick on the bottom case, moving off as a combined mass. The other types of linear collisions we're going to generally see a change in velocity in most cases or for sure at least a change in direction in some cases one of the two on those type of collisions